Uh, we are back here on the program, The Platform, today, speaking with uh, Victor Rollins, and uh, we are talking about the LGBT community. And um, Mr. Rollins, you, you've not been discriminated against. Uh, but, but by the way, let me, let me say that um, I think you deserve uh, um, high praise for coming on this program um, and showing your face. You know, on radio, no one sees you. Uh, but um, you're brave enough to come on the program, and so you 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 are uh, you've been out of the closet for a long time, right? Well, believe it or not, up to yesterday, uh -huh. I I just declared that because most people know me as the gay no more guy, okay. and they're they're not sure. And a lot of time now, I learned from back then because back then I I think I made a mistake by volunteering my lifestyle, mm -hmm. even though. The church made it feel like that confession would have been good because it has followed me for so long in a lot of negative ways. Mm -hmm. All right, um, and the reason why I decided from yesterday and now to just plainly say is because of stigma and discrimination. Oh. There's a there's a lot going on now, so it won't. I won't say I was stig uh, stigmatized and discriminated um, up to this time in the way that I think I might be from here on. Oh, why do you think you might be discriminated? Let me tell you something. Normally when you hear any kind of situation from the LBGT community, you only hear a couple of voices. You think there's only a couple of people in this country that snap? The rest of the folks are scared to death because things happen to them in their own way. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And like I said to the lady, yeah, you may not discriminate against me, but that's, you can't tell me that I'm not being discriminated by based on when I go places or I ask for things to be done, or even sometimes being overlooked for um, jobs and stuff like that. And but you, you have not been discriminated against, have you? Uh, folks have um, go like, if, uh, well, if you have them around, then people can think you're gay, or gay, a bunch of gay people are going to show up. Even if they, they want to hire me as a DJ, they, they <laughs> sometimes the ignorance of not knowing professionalism, that I'm a professional, I come to do my job. I'm not you here. Really, you really think okay. so? I, know I mean, I've been to many uh, functions, and there have been people there who I know are, are gays or lesbians, and it really didn't bother me. Um, and uh, we have again, we socialized, we have conversations. But that's your maturity. That's your maturity. Yeah. I'm, let me tell you something. I have, when folks, like, like I say, when you make that statement, for, and that's why, if you notice yesterday, I kept saying, I am the same victor that you knew a week ago mm -hmm. now. Because I have to say that. Yeah. And to say to them, if anything changed, and, and if you have a problem with me now, it ain't me. Personal problem. You have the, you have the problem now because now, because before then, I'm Brother Vic. I'm the, the good DJ. I'm the, the, the mentor. I'm the, 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 the AIDS activist. The, I'm all the good things that you were happy yeah. to be around me with. But during that whole process of time, this is what I was, you, but you, I kept it because I, I hear your conversation, I see wh how you do and how you deal, and I realize, you know, right now I don't even want to deal with that, and we have to work together, and we have to deal with some stuff. Okay. In this country, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of LBGD people are tolerated and not celebrated, and I don't, and I don't mean to celebrated because of their sexual orientation, but celebrated as them as a human being and who they are and the contribution that they make to society and to the family. But isn't it true that um, the level of tolerance is, is, is getting better uh, towards uh, gay and lesbians in the society? Very much. And I, and, 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 and I try to go as a buffer in between to the community, the church, to bring the do's and don'ts on what would help to better foster a relationship to the point of where each person can help each other out. Mm. You know, Because remember, the preacher is to preach the word or teach the word, but it's the Holy Spirit and God that does the increase. Too often people want to, oh, in the cloud, want to change it, and they want to see this quick fix turn around. You know, different people are caught up in the gay lifestyle and stuff for different reasons. Mm. And some of them still ain't sure, and even when they might have found out or realized that this is not the lifestyle for them, they don't got addicted to the pleasure. So mm. who do they go to to talk to now to get help? Because when you bring this up, mm. you've got to be really cute because you keep hearing that if you, you tolerate or you accept or you look like you approve, then there's going to be some kind of judgment on you or your family or the country because God don't like this. You, so you, you, you're calling for a higher level of maturity. A higher level uh, of maturity, in, and it has to society. start first with the, yeah. with the, with the pastors and yeah. the church because it comes from the pulpit. 
into the pew, into the family, and into society. But you, you don't expect for, for, for uh, Christians or church leaders to condone your behavior. I know I don't expect that they condone it, but they can help a lot of persons who are confused, because they are ones who are confused. Uh, well, how can they? Well, people... you, you, you were a member of a church, for instance, mm -hmm. and uh, you would have heard the, the word preached um, uh, many times over 20 years in one church, and I'm sure you, when you, you go to another church now, you, you have just decided that this is me and I cannot change. Isn't that right? No matter what is preached to you, you've decided that you are a gay man, and then no preaching the world can change that. No, 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 no amount of sermonizing can change Victor Rollins. Isn't that right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, but there, there's a reason why I have that that attitude, and why? I think I think that attitude because okay, for instance, in my work, right, I see. Uh, the end of December, you know, the New Year's Day stuff. Mm -hmm. I watch, and I've done this for the last six years within my watch, I watch lesbians and gays disappear from the party and scene and the community. And I could say, you know what, they went to church and they got saved. And then by February, March, April, they come trucking back. And I go, what happened? I said, man, I can't deal with you. You go in the church, they're they judging you. They, they, they don't give you time. They won't try get a cookie cutter and do and they don't deal with they want you to give up all your friends but nobody want to be your friend oh uh, don't hang with her because she's a lesbian and people can think this is the church now this is the outside the church mm. and then, and that's when i said i need to have conversation with them and training to, to let them know you know you need to know how to uh, apply and respond not not looking for no go a special gospel or no special treatment but at the end of the day say what the words say I i've been in the same word church in bfm come and walk in Hey, thinking nothing but the glory of God and stuff. Oh, that the Holy Son be, slick be coming. What? Holy Son can slick. <laughs> My Bible tells me, speak those things that be not as though they were. Yeah. So if, yeah. even if you're thinking that, hey, mighty man of God, you know, uh, address me with the faith. So that's when I yeah. say, yeah, they could say the Christians and a whole lot, but are they doing what they're doing? Are they letting, realizing that your neighbor is anybody neighbor, nearby that could be the homosexual? So at the end of the day, you still have to treat him like a human being and don't all of a sudden want to pick Genesis 19 story or Romans 1 story and feel that you have a justification to, I mean, I hear things on the radio, what Christian people say, and I go like, and you're representing God? Yeah. Well, the church is a hospital for sinners, isn't it? I agree. And um, as, But then what happened, such, though, yes. a lot of the, the, I always use that term that the church, because I've, I've been asked, so why so much gays in the church? And I go like, well, where else does it need to be? That's the hospital, but what happened is the pastors who are considered the doctors sometimes prescribe the wrong medicine or don't know what medicine to prescribe so because not every man of God know how to deal with every situation. Yeah. And that's why testimony is when you have someone like me who come out, God then cleans me up to then send me back to do the work, advice to go with your yeah. wisdom yeah. brings yeah. healing. But, 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 but the, the, the church is not the pastor. The church is a body of believers. The pastor is the leader of the body of believers. And so you, you are saying that the body of believers in our society, they are failing. Right. Well, but, but uh, uh, what I have to go, why I go back to the pastor, because what comes from the pulpit goes into the pew. I'll give you an example. Yeah, Could yeah, I yeah, yeah, give yeah. you an example? Yeah, but, 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 the, 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 but, but the two too, best too, teachings too, too, that I think. Hold a second. Uh, too often in the Bahamas, we conflate and confuse church leadership with the church. And the church is a body of believers. Right. People who make up the pews. People who are saved, who are born again, they make up the church and if the church has failed you it is not the leadership but it's the body of believers isn't that right no the the, the church I, in general can i say the, why i'm telling you no okay please. okay the, st the, the the teachings that changed my life mm -hmm. that helped me was miles Monroe teaching on potential and purpose I grew up being called everything else but a child of God, and as a man thinking so, is he where we get our thoughts from? By what we watch, what we read, and who we listen to. And the, the message was great, and not only that, it started to attract other persons 
of the community to come to church because it, it was making sense that you are more than a conqueror. You could do all things through Christ. You're here for this and that. And I don't know if somebody starts saying, boy, Miles, boy, look like a lot of sissies starting to go to your church. Because then one Sunday came and the whole sermon's eyes, man, I don't, there's a sissy coming in front of me. And I, and I was like, oh my God. I, I mean, I sat there as a thing like, what happened, Mr. Pastor? And then, and then it went on to a lot of the behavior patterns and everybody cheering on and that stuff there. And I started to feel even smaller now, like, oh. Awesome. But if I wasn't working out my own salvage and staying strong, because I want to stay strong from that Sunday, I would have gone on. So what I'm saying is a lot of times when you hear preachers preach on homosexuality and stuff like that, you know, they get to Sodom and Gomorrah and they start carrying on. They get to Romans once and they start carrying on. They don't, I think the best time to talk about homosexuality is Father's Day. I got what a, it is to be a father. Yeah, I got, an, I got an email son. from a member of, of BFM um, yesterday mm -hmm. after the radio show and they said they were disappointed in you because um, you were a part of the church and uh, they thought that you were doing well and uh, you like I you, said you, 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 you and that was up up to last week last week Thursday when right you, when you backslid it. no 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 that was up to last week Thursday they only got disappointed in me in the last five days I see you see, I see. and and I say this to folks is that um, we, we want truth, but we can't handle the truth. Mm. Then when we get truth, we cancel out people because of the truth. Let me ask you this, and this is important. Um, could it be, is it possible for a gay person or a lesbian person to have been in the practice of it and to be reformed and uh, not look back and not go back into it? Yeah, it's, very, it's, it's very much possible, but you would find they would not be the ones who were saying that they're I born gay. You're born gay. Yeah, because there's different, see, there's different aspects. That would be someone who experimented. Well, not only, th not only that, I, I think Baker's um, Encyclopedia of Psychology deals with 10 different levels of homosexuality. I normally like to stick with three situational homosexuality, obligatory homosexuality, and regressive. You got a lot of males who knew or had this in, inside conviction, but were forced to get married because the family don't want to hear no foolishness going on a whole lot, and for many different reasons. Then you got some men who think by having sex with a woman, they can change what they feel. Okay. And then later on, and so for society don't understand all of that stuff, and they say, well, you were playing around. They, they were only doing what they think they could do. Okay. Then you have this situational where people get incarcerated in prison or they in the military and they're away from things and they're used to getting released. And so at the end of the day, they, they don't have no self-control and they just figure any hole is a hole right there. But to them, that's situational. They ain't gay. Okay, Victor. In, let's look at the totality of the situation, the bottom line. Being gay or homosexual, is it right or wrong, morally? That's a long pause. Is it right or wrong? Because I, I, to me, you want to ask me if it's right or wrong? No, no, only, 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 I can't speak. I can't speak for every gay. And only, only stuff. two of us here. So you that's know. why it's a long you, pause. You say, "But I must ask you." Only two of us here. <laughs> no, but Mr. You, Ian, you, you, me. Yeah, no, no, but I, you, I need to know that's a general question. No, 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 that's no, a personal you. question. Then. Is it right or wrong, morally? I go. There are times I think so, and then there are times I don't. That's my honest, and I can give it to you. There are times you think it is right. And there are times you think it is wrong? Yeah. I'm sorry. It is. Is it? <laughs> I know it's not, not the answer you want to hear, but I'm, I'm just saying to you. You see, immorality is one thing. Mm -hmm. And our morality is another. So if you say that it's not immoral, it's certainly to you it's not amoral. Uh, whatever some form of the language you use just now. I understand what you said. I mean, I hear you, amoral or immoral. Yes. I don't know. You, I don't know what you mean. No, you, you understand immorality. Yeah, I understand immorality. Yeah. Uh, yes, the way it's been preached. What do you mean the way it's been preached? Uh, based on your own understanding of right and wrong and, and what is mor moral? 
Um, you, you don't understand that? No, no, when you said amoral, I guess you threw me the that, amoral That part. is when something, you, you know something, you, you know that, that this is east, mm -hmm. but, but you are shooting over here and calling that east. That is... Uh, that's, that's wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. So, so many people uh, in the book of Jude, you'd, 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 you'd see the analogy that I make. Uh, so if, if you know that you are male mm -hmm. and you are shooting over here believing that you are female, that is amoral, isn't it? Well, firstly, I'm a male who knows I'm a male. Yes. What I have is a male. Yes. I'm attracted, but I'm attracted to male. To, to I have same-sex attraction. I'm not confused. I'm not trying to be no woman. I don't want to be a woman. I'm a male that is attracted to another That is attracted to another male. Right. Okay. So that's, that's my... Okay. Now, you might call that um, desires and conflict. Yes. But I know, I know what I would say to me. That's why I'm saying sometimes I think to me, I'm, I'm most happy when I relax. Okay. Let, 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 me, let me ask you, um, Mr. Mr. Rollins, um, th I this this talk about Bahamas Pride. <laughs> we discussed that in our minutes. That Bahamas you Pride. <laughs> oh yeah, we we, we didn't even discuss <laughs> Bahamas you Pride too much. <laughs> um, um, because I, we want, but 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 but, 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 but let, let let's let's spend a couple of minutes on Bahamas Pride. It failed in Grand Bahama, right? But firstly, people didn't show okay, up. Okay, firstly, I want to say why okay, do you think people didn't show but, up? But firstly, let me say, firstly, Bahamas Pride was not put on by the LGBT community. Bahamas Pride was put on by Vix Entertainment and Sash Bahamas based on our job and our function to get to the LBGP, uh, was scared to the LGBT community in Freeport. Right. In that, we created a whole event, and all over the world, they've been having pride events all over the place. So we just decided to put a label on pride or sizzle and give it that fun entertainment as we get folks to come up because they're a vulnerable community that is hard to reach. But, two, so, but you no, only had two people, two yeah, behemoths showed up. Yeah, that's, and, uh, that's fine. And the two behemoths, myself and the, the coordinator, yeah. the, other, uh, the other nine were persons outside of the country. But um, we wasn't getting the greatest support from the NASA or LBGD community. But again, our focus is for the LGBT in, in Freeport. There, because they live in Freeport, they didn't need to book hotel rooms and all that stuff. They were going to come on day pass. But as things break on Thursday and the fair, um, a, a lot of wrong information. And that's where I give Pastor Miles wrong, because he did not go and investigate truth like one. Father from the police, police department. Was there a request for permit to form a march? No march was never planned to be in the streets of Freeport. But you did, Two, you did plan a pajamas party. Yeah, we put down, like you say, like, you had to get down. You, you, you wanted people to get down. <laughs> had to get, look, I'm an event planner. I'm, I'm brother Vic, slick Vic. When I prevent planning things, you, you have a good time. Yeah. You understand? And mm. Sorry. I have to create a safe space, a enjoyable entertainment space, because people, are, nobody's going to pay to, to be preached to or to do things. The concept is I was being creative and doing my job as we do at Sash Bahamas. Mm. All right? Um, but you were promoting uh, this behavior. That's what, what you were doing. But I was guaranteed to that community. You were promoting this behavior. But I'm uh, but, okay. And you but, saw nothing uh, wrong but, but with nothing wrong. Like any club promotes behavior. Like I say, you see posters and cards all over the place. Tits almost all booty all out in all to come to this club and that club. The spring breakers come here and we know it's drinking, sex, drugs, and a whole lot. I mean. That, and that's what I'm saying, the, being discriminated against, because I don't see them all over the beach giving out tracks or, or making some stuff that we don't want the Bahamas being known where young students come to have wild and crazy sex and everything. At least during spring break, I go down and give out condoms. Mm. <laughs> at least I'd be doing something to at least make sure they're saying, well, I got pregnant in the Bahamas. But, but, but you, you don't feel any pang of conscience for promoting a, a lifestyle that the people in this country who call themselves uh, or call the country the nation a, a Christian nation believe it wrong. You didn't. But I wasn't promoting. I wasn't promoting. Yeah, I, was you, my, what, what? I was. I was. Like I told you, I start off by telling you we all have our function in the National AIDS Program, yeah. and my function is to reach that community. Yeah, but once and you plan this that, Pride weekend and you invited gays and lesbians to attend, that's who they are. Uh, to have fun. That's who they are. I didn't say straight you, people come to Pride. So we could turn you gay. I see. I promoted to the people who already would say this is worth it, and I can enjoy the stuff Vic can do. He's going to do a beach party, a pool party, a drag show, yeah, uh, a, pajamas a, a pajama party. party you know, yeah. I, I did. We have a health fair. We have a conversation. We're going to have a mini rally in, in March. It was always designed to be on the beach. You'll do it again. 
Have I got the funding right? Have you got the funding? <laughs> Have I got it right? Okay. Uh, uh, like you say, you know, buddy, she comes, so you know where he is right now, right? I see. I see. You think people were ashamed to come? People, okay, again, the Nassau folks didn't believe it was going to happen. Because yeah. they, in the normal fairs in Nassau, the all men in the Bahamas, they ain't going to let When the Christian consulate already said that. Do you, so do, do, you think, think, do you think these people uh, should have a sense of shame uh, for, for participating in such a thing or for even being a gay or lesbian? No. I cho specifically chose a private, all inclusive resort. No, no, I'm, I'm generally so, speaking now. Yeah, no, they don't need to be ashamed, be ashamed of what? I'm just asking. No, why? If that's who you are and that's who you believe you are, be you, be, and that's what we want to do. Our pride, I mean, in 1991, the laws have changed. There's never yet been a, a celebration to what do other Caribbean countries, they're still being locked up, murdered, put in jail, and all kind of different things because their law has not been changed. If anybody had any thing to celebrate, should have been the Bahamas. You think the, we never Uganda have... Uganda celebrated, and, yes. and you see they were killing organization like Myers was getting <laughs> murdered yes. just for being Do, do you think you condoms. would ever have same-sex marriage or same-sex union in the Bahamas? I think it's, well, I would say more same-sex union because the anyone under 25, and I, they're not thinking the way of my, persons who might be over or more your older traditional or how you call yourself, you say you're old-fashioned. Old -fashioned. Mm -hmm. And they could be some of the new voters. That, that's their friends. They hang out with their friends. Again, don't forget now, like I said, they got the internet and a whole lot of things. So they're seeing different perspective. Yeah, maybe years ago, Miles Monroe could have said something and it was like, ah. Oh. Mm. Now it's like, hmm. Because, uh, okay, they hit one, I'll give just one thing. Before I used to say that animals were smarter than human beings, because not in the animal world that you have same sex. You could go online and they'll give you the list of more than 300 animals that are involved in same sex activity. So I'm saying, now people are researching what preachers them say, and they say, "Dude, you must have didn't read so and so did this." Okay, <laughs> Victor, you you are a fascinating guest, and no um, I, I enjoyed. I, I'm I'm sorry that we're out of time. As a matter of fact, we've probably gone over time. Uh, so thank you so very much for being here today. Thank you for having me. And um, I hope to see you soon. Hey, yeah. anything interesting happen? I will call you. You know, you're yes, my, you're my, you my, know, my, feel my free to come. Let's talk. You know, okay. I, I talk about anything. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching and listening to our program today. Good evening, everyone.